In this video, we're going to do DIY fall decorations using my thrifted finds and some dollar store finds and a wreath from Michael's. Excuse me. I'm going to make a fall decoration. I have this leaf that I made in pottery. Okay, there's my little dish. And I have a piece of raffia. And I'm going to take oh. I keep forgetting to show you, but this is where I'm getting my wheat from. I bought this big arrangement at uh, the thrift store. At the thrift store, I got that. And then I've got three. I'm going to have five pieces of wheat in a bundle. And I'm going to take these little oak leaves in a bundle and take this raffia and wrap it around. A little bow. Leaves and wheat. I guess those leaves are wired. little orange and I'm going to lay it in the dish there we go I think that looks quite cute on the table easy not expensive bye bye so what I'm doing now is I'm going to take all of this weed apart and you can do that simply by pulling it out and I'm going to stack it on this tray and then I'm going to make bundles and there's my wheat all taken apart. Now I'm going to start making the bundles. I made seven bundles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think that's exactly what I wanted. I still have wheat left over, but they're shorter pieces and stuff, but I'm sure I'll use them. So we have that tray with some wheat and raffi on it. But this is what I just made. Okay, the next decoration I'm going to make is going to be in this big vase. I have moss, different kinds of mosses, and I'm going to kind of layer them up the vase. And then I'm planning on putting some of the wheat pieces in. Okay, it's the big vase, and I'm starting with the Spanish moss. And I just think the layers of different colors of moss is going to look pretty. The nice thing about this decoration is I can take all this stuff out of this vase and I can use it again. So I quite like that. Now, should I put some more Spanish moss on top or should I just put the wheat in here? I 
just to see what it looks like. There's our vase with the weed in it, the green moss, and the brown deer moss. I think it looks really cool. It's just a tall, clear vase. And I put weed in it. <clears throat> and green moss. And the dark deer moss, or the grassy deer moss. Cute little house. I'm going to make it for fall, so I'm going to cut the little hearts off. I will keep them. Cut a chestnut off this way. Hopefully I can do this. And chestnut hanging off of there. I think that looks cute. And I'm going to do one on this side too. Now I want them to be able to stand up. So <clears throat> I bought this and I just broke it in half. This stuff. So I'm just gonna glue them on there like that. At this time in the video, I would like to encourage you to subscribe. I'm trying to get to my 500, and I'd love to get there. Anyhow, please, please subscribe. It's free. I'm going to put a little bit of decoration on. Let's see. Got some nice fall leaves. Not sure. I like these little maple leaves, they're a better size. I go like that. Stick them up in there. And I just put it right in the roof line here. Fire cutters. There we go. And there we go. It kind of covers up the bowl, but. I guess that's okay. These berries over here, just on this little hook. There we go. Two little cute wooden houses we can put on my shelves in my entryway. Okay, I brought my basket in from outside. Took the summer flowers out. And now I'm going to make a fall arrangement. And the first thing I did was I wired this cute little heart wreath on the top of it. And we'll see what else we're going to do. So I tried some of these orange bunches. They're kind of like a berry. These orange sticks. And... I really didn't like them. So I took them out and just kept trying stuff until I found what I liked. Here I'm cutting the ends off of all the wheat bundles that I made earlier. And this is what I'm going to put in my basket. That's what I've always, that's what I had planned from the beginning. Well, I'm trying to stick the wheat in there with the orange picks and I didn't like them so now I'm taking them out and I'm just going to put the weed in there and see how that looks and see how that looks.
Well, right here I'm trying to decide how to finish it off. Well, I tried this bow and I really didn't like it. Here's our finished basket to put on the gate. And I love it. I think it's very pretty. It's in my wire basket, which I've had for, oh, at least 40 years. I had it in the house in Kimberly. And that's the weed I got from the thrift store that I took all apart and I made little bunches. And I put the wicker heart there. And then I phoned my daughter to see how I should finish it. <laughs> Anyhow, this is what we came up with. A pretty plaid, a pretty checkered ribbon in that nice dark color and the darker leaves. And I just glued them on there. And I think this turned out beautiful. I'm very, very pleased with it. And we'll get it hung on the gate. I have some styrofoam pumpkins that I bought last year. And you can just take the stem off. And I decided to cover them in this pretty material that I bought at the dollar store. And I got the orange one done. And I think it looks pretty neat. Um... I have to figure out a stem and how to cover up all the pins that I put in there or move the pins around so you can't see them as much. That was my first attempt. So now I'm going to do the green one. I'm just, I'm just pulling it up like that and sticking pins in. And that's how I'm going to do it. Got the raffia on there. And we're gonna put a little glue around. So I'm gonna stick some moss on there just to give it some greenery. Just to give it a little bit of green. Don't need much moss. And I have this flower. And it had this little knot in the middle. I took the knot out so that I could just slip it over the toothpick. So it sits like that. And I'm going to put some glue here. And for the pumpkin stem, I have wooden, old wooden spools of thread that are empty. And I'm going to put that on there like that. And that finishes off. And here's our three little pumpkins all finished. Styrofoam ball covered in material from the dollar store. Styrofoam from the dollar store. And the little burlap flowers are from the dollar store. I thrifted the thread spools, the wooden spools. And the raffia and moss I always have on hand. So, that's another fall decoration. This is the big wreath that I'm going to hang in our bedroom and I can decorate it for seasons and I bought these pretty pale leaves and I got these at the Dollar Tree in fabric got three picks of those Oops. I got these from Michael's and then I got two picks of them and they have 
a poppy seed on them, which is really cool. And they have little pumpkins, so they'll be really good for fall. And I'm just going to play with this. And see what I come up with. Oh, do my usual cutting it apart. And sticking it in. I think I'm going to just go all the way around. I haven't done that in a long time with your knees. Not that you're going to hear me with this because I'm going to speed it up. I'm just going to make it nice and full. Okay, so there's the wreath hanging on the wall. And I just cut the picks up and stuck them in. And I think it turned out rather pretty. And it's going to be fun. To decorate for all seasons. Thanks, Jody. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me make all these crafts, and I'd love to thank everybody who's been watching. And if you like this content, please, please give me a big thumbs up. And I hope everyone's having a lovely fall. Our fall has been lovely. And I'd like to welcome any new subscribers and encourage you all to subscribe, please. And thanks again to all my special family on YouTube for all your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye.